Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now. On to the video. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Universe Megatron. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, he is a leader class figure, so he has no window whatsoever, but he has some great artwork featuring him in robot mode and vehicle mode. Legacy Evolution there on the bottom, Transformers on the side. This side of the box features an up-close shot of Megatron's face and him in tank mode opening fire. Back of the packaging features product shots of Megatron in robot mode, tank mode, Evo Fusion, and his Shockwave hand cannon. Yeah, we'll get into that more later on. And of course, this side of the box features the legacy artwork that we have seen since day one. So now, without further ado, let's get Megatron opened up out of this packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Megatron all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And this is one of those sheets of instructions that unfolds into a poster for some reason. A little bit of overkill if you ask me. He also comes with this attachment to the tank barrel that we're going to go ahead and peg in right there. And there we have Megatron himself in his tank mode, and that is how he came packaged. And I really wish Hasbro would start packaging their Transformers in vehicle mode. I'm an old school G1-er, and I always feel that when you package in vehicle mode, it makes transforming him into robot mode more of a surprise, just like the original toys, but it is what it is. Now, taking a closer look at Megatron, this tank looks phenomenal it looks so good with all the sculpted details and great paint applications it, it looks great it looks spot on to the original armada megatron bringing him in for comparisons right here so just take that in that looks so good now i'm going to get this out of the way right now the original armada megatron was loaded with gimmicks you had mini con traps ramps flip out sections you had launching missiles there we go you had these little pinchy claws right here you had cages and jails and ramps i mean this figure here was loaded and unfortunately our newest armada megatron is not and if i recall the original armada megatron cost half of what our new leader class figures cost and you know, that's a shame. I, I miss the gimmicks. I know the era of the gimmicks is over, and I really appreciate that I do have this figure that is just loaded with so much playability. And if you want to see a full review of the original Armada Megatron, just click the link above. Now, that being said, I can accept that this Megatron has no gimmicks, so I'm not going to hold that against him. It's just the way things are now. So, taking a closer look once again to our newest Legacy Armada Megatron. As I said, the figure, the tank looks amazing. Now, as far as articulation goes or gimmicks with the tank, the turret can rotate, but it's going to stop right there. There's a little catch and rotates around this far 
and this time it catches about halfway. And I'll go into the reason why I believe that is later on. You also have the barrel that can go up and down. And you got these rocket launchers. There are this rocket launcher segment right here that you can bring up. It snaps in right there with that peg. And for some odd reason, it just sticks straight up instead of angling forward a little bit. I guess it's for aerial attacks, maybe surface to air missiles, or, you know, just launch up and fly away. But you have that option. And of course you can rotate it around or pop it off. And I really, let me see, I tried this earlier. Yeah, it, I guess you, yeah, the hole on this is too big for the tank. So I'm not really sure. Nope, I got an idea. We'll take a look at that later on. We'll see if that works of why I think that is. Let's go ahead and put the tank barrel on. He also has wheels and rolls really, really good. So I dig it. This tank mode is fantastic. So now let's go ahead and get Megatron transformed into his robot mode. And it's a fairly simple transformation. Pick your figure up. You got these little flaps right here. Unpeg those and just bring the legs down just like so. Take that flap and snap it back in along the side of the legs. Go ahead and flip the toes out. Now for some reason, my toes are really, really stiff. So we got that going on. Rotate at the waist. So as you can see, we've got the bottom of the figure. Let me go ahead and adjust my camera accordingly. Now from this point, what we're going to do is you got these little black sections right here. Go ahead and bring those down. And by doing so, we'll enable you to bring the tank tread here down and over the chest. So you're just going to bring that down. And of course, you got the antler that popped off. I'll go into that here in a second. Go ahead and bring the arm down or the shoulder down rather. Do that here on the other side. Right here, just like the original, you're going to open up this flap along the tank tread and bring down his arm. Go ahead and shut that back. Do the same here on the other side. Shut that back. Flip out the fists on both arms. You've got this chest panel right here and the original figure, this slid. You could take this, slide it down and that re revealed his face. The face shield went down. Not so much with this one this time. You're going to flip the whole chest down, fold the face shield in, and then snap it back in place. Rotate the turret down along his side. And there we go. There is Megatron in robot mode. And taking a closer look at the figure, once again, looks great. Let me get that antenna or that antler pegged in. Let me, let me show you this. This is an issue. You got these little holes right here. This is where the antler goes. And it just... It doesn't go in. For some reason, I can't get this one to go in. There we go. They pop out way too easy, in my opinion. I may thicken those up with some floor polish so they stay in better. Or hell, I may just super glue them in. It's my figure. I don't plan on reselling them. So there's an option. So you got one fault right there. Now, going on to the figure, he looks great. Still, lots of sculpted details. Very faithful to the original Armada Megatron toy. He just looks so good. As far as articulation is concerned, oh yeah, let me show you the face. Love the face sculpt on this one. It has an excellent face. It's got the evil red eyes and just looks so good. Now, articulation. You would think that the shoulders would move. They do not. You have to flip up these little panels in order to get the arms to move. And they will not do a complete 360. They will go out and they will go in. There is an elbow bend and a elbow rotation. There is a wrist rotation. There is waist rotation. Legs can go out. They can go in. They can go forward. They can go back. And if you notice, soft ratchet back and forth. I wish there was a ratchet in and out, but oh well. You got a ratchet for the knee. Nice deep knee bend and there is ankle tilt. So it's got that cool filler piece right there. You can also flip up and bring around the gun along his side. So right there, so it looks like the how he 
not how he held, how he, gosh, I can't, I'm losing my words here, how he had his weapon prepped for attack in the show or the original figure. And I didn't show it off in tank mode, but this cannon is blast effect compatible. So I love that they're still utilizing the blast effects. Now, another gimmick that Megatron has, oh, I wanna show you, there is an issue you may need to address is the arms, the tank treads, they don't lock in. So they seem to want, they flip down this way right here. And when mine, when I first opened it up, was really loose. So if yours are right here, there is a Phillips screw, tighten that a little bit and that will save your issue right there. You won't have the old floppy shoulders. So Megatron's Evo Fusion gimmick. How this works is bring the arm up, bring the tank barrel back. You're gonna take and extend Megatron at the waist here. And then these little black panels that you move down for transformation, bring these up because these lock in this purple section right here. Take the tank or the turret, flip down, and you can rotate this whole thing. It's a little tight. Rotate this whole purple section around, bring this up, squeeze the figure back together. So he has his mega attack. I forget what it was called because it's been such a long time since I watched Armada. So you can flip this forward, you can flip this forward. And here, that might be where the rotation comes in. So you've got his super attack mode right there. And this will rotate around, go so far this way and so far that way. Kind of locks in place. Doesn't go all the way around, so you can't do vulgar things with your Megatron. So you got that going on right there, and it's okay. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that look. I prefer it hanging on his back. Now, another gimmick that this Megatron has is you can take the tank barrel, remove that, flip in one of the fists, which reveal a peg, and then you can attach the tank barrel like so to give him a shockwave arm cannon and I don't understand why that is as I said it's been a long time since I watched Armada is that something that he did I, I can't remember so help me out with that also take note that this fist is sculpted different than the right let me get and pop that out for you right there that's kind of a callback to the original toy the original toy had a claw hand with a flip out knife this one unfortunately does not have a knife, but he has gaps in the forearms, which is very disappointing. I don't understand why they can't give us flaps to cover these up or, you know, let the fist slide in and out like back in the day. Also, get that barrel attached. Going back to why the turret doesn't rotate all the way, it locks in place right there. And I think that's why you know, it stops so it won't drag the ground there and kind of locks where it's supposed to be represented when he's not on the attack. Flipping around on this side, let's just, let me see. Yeah, if you want to make him a lefty, there you go. The tank barrel will work on that side as well. So there you go, guys. There is Legacy Evolution Armada Megatron. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Megatron with the original Armada Megatron. And I do want to point out the hands once again, you had the claw hand on Legacy compared to the claw hand on the original. The original did have that flip out knife, which is really, really cool. I wish they gave us a knife accessory. I wish that they gave us a knife accessory to go with the Armada Megatron, but is what it is. Combiner Wars Armada Megatron and Legacy Evolution Armada Starscream. All in all, I really like the new Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Megatron. Minor nitpicks aside, including the antlers that fall off and the limited articulation of the arms, I think this is a great figure. Now he doesn't come with all the gimmicks that the original did, but let's face it, we're not going to get gimmick-laden figures anymore. That's just a fact. 
just deal with it. That being said, this is still a great figure and I think is going to be awesome for you Armada fans. So, does a Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Megatron belong in your collection? Absolutely. I think the Megatron fans will appreciate this one along with the Armada fans. He's got a great tank mode, fun transformation, and fairly decent robot mode. So yeah, if you see this one on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!